All right, let's take a quick look at how to get started with Microsoft Forms. From office.com, you can choose the Forms uh, icon here, or you can go to your app launcher and select it from there. To get started with the new form, you'd select the New button here, give it a title. If you choose to add an image, you can click here and search from Bing, upload it from OneDrive, or upload it something that's from your computer. If you want to enter a description, go ahead and do that here. After you've got the title and description, you might want to go ahead and set up the theme if you're interested in choosing one of these backgrounds or these color schemes for it. I might change it to blue. If I want to preview my form, I can click up here on preview and then send form has the options here that I would need to be able to share that form out later. I will say this, if you want people, if this is for people inside of our domain, so students or teachers, uh, or anybody that has an SSISD email, we want to make sure that we keep this record names of responders and only people in my organization. That way they can see that form. If it is a form that I need to share outside the district, then I would want to go ahead and click on anyone with a link. Um, anyone with the link then does not force people to sign in. If I click on see all settings, I also have the option here to apply a deadline. So if this was a quiz and I wanted to have it end after the end of the period, I could go ahead and come in here and put a deadline to it. I can shuffle questions and I can accept responses by unchecking that. Now at this point, nobody would be able to fill it out. So even if my students had the form link right at the beginning of the class, I could come in here and say accept responses, I'll tell them to go ahead and go to the form, they can start answering it, and I've got a deadline that's already set up for them at that point. So that's one way that you can prevent people from accessing your form when you're not ready. So that's the basics to getting the form ready. The other option I want to make sure that you're aware of is up under the dot 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 menu. Right here, you've got this option for branching. Branching gives you a lot of flexibility in being able to have uh, your form set up where based on an answer, it's going to take them directly to another question somewhere else in that form. So that's the basics of being able to get a form started and understanding the settings for it. At this point now, make sure that you watch the different videos to see how all the different question types work. Thanks.